Tech news, eh? Well, I may have heard about that once or twice, and oh boy, whoa, was it really cool. So, let's do it. <laughs> Those of you eagerly awaiting the arrival of Intel's new 3D crosspoint memory, well, sorry, but here's a bucket of cold water to splash on your hopes. The revolutionary new tech is being delayed significantly with the potential launch now being placed in Q4 2018 or 2019. Intel originally said 3D crosspoint memory modules would be used in a future Xeon processor, which many assumed was part of the upcoming Skylake EP line coming in the first half of 2017. But Intel CEO Brian Krasanich said in the company's latest earnings call that that processor would be Skylake EP's successor, Canon Lake EP. Now this is referring to server products, not consumer type stuff, so we can still hope that 3D Crosspoint could show up in an SSD or something, although hoping won't actually do anything. It might make you feel a little better. The great DDoS attack of 2016, which took down a bunch of major websites on Friday, was enabled by a botnet comprised of Internet of Things devices. Those devices can include any connected device like routers, smart plugs, sensors, webcams, and it turns out a lot of the webcams used in this attack were manufactured by one Chinese company, Hangzhou Xiangmai Technology. I don't know if I said that right. The company has now said it will recall some of its products in order to improve security. Friday's incident has sparked a broad discussion about about the safety and regulations behind the Internet of Things and what can be done to prevent these sort of attacks. Because guys, we shouldn't be getting pushed around by webcams. We're a lot bigger than them. And sources have told Engadget that Google is still working on a standalone headset that would combine virtual and augmented reality capabilities. The sources also claim the new device will integrate eye tracking and sensor algorithms to map out the space around a user, much like Microsoft's HoloLens and the mysterious Magic Leap. However, Google's headset apparently differs from those two in its focus on bringing the real world into VR rather than showing holograms on top of the real world. It all sounds very fancy and utopian until someone uses all of them to DDoS the internet again. Come on, hackers! Do something useful with your time! It's time for... Red, red, red. Here's Quick Bit! Red, 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 Quick Bit! Red, 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 That's Quick Bit! Red, 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 Quick Bit! Quick Bit! Oh, and also, it's Quick Bits. That was... Fantastic. Unfortunately, we did have to cut it for time, but you're right, OG sus, it was the cutest thing ever. Click the link in the description to hear the whole thing. It's actually, it's super awesome. Uh, I think I retweeted it, maybe? Anyways, and I submit your own Quick Bits clip to get featured on Netlinked. Thank you. Microsoft is having a big event on Wednesday, and one of the things they're potentially going to unveil is called the Surface Studio. That's all we know. Might be a Surface all-in-one PC, might be a funny, funny joke. It would be pretty dry humor, though. Leaker Evan Blass has uncovered Huawei's upcoming flagship phones, the Mate 9 and Mate 9 Pro, with a curved screen just like the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which apparently justifies its price tag of 1300 bucks US. Yowza! Speaking of phones, Samsung isn't giving up on the Galaxy Note brand yet, as the company has referenced the Galaxy Note 8 in a press release about its phone upgrade program. I mean, we shouldn't assume all future Galaxy Note phones would explode because the Note 7 did. That would be racist. Android Pay is gonna work in more places, specifically anywhere that also supports Visa Checkout and MasterPass. And Pokemon Go still exists, and Niantic wants to remind you of that by having a half-hearted Halloween event. You'll get double candy for in-game actions, and spooky Pokemon will show up more often, like Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, and Zubat? Really, I feel like we don't... We don't really need any help with Zubat. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCIX forum post, linked in the description. <sighs> nah. I picked this tweet to show you I saw it, and I picked it, uh, but we're gonna be here for a while if I do that, so love you anyways, though. Have a good one. Here's a really important question. What is better than both buying a game and buying a motherboard? Eh? All right, I'll tell you. Buying a motherboard and getting a game for free. Oh, you knew the answer the whole time. I'll give you the points anyway. Right now, buy select MSI gaming motherboards at NCIX and get the standard edition of Mafia 3 for free. Very simple.
very exciting. Click here for all the details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. As always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go do some shopping to see if I can find a deal on electric trimmers. Fortunately, I, I grew the beard without uh, thinking ahead. I don't have anything to shave it off with, so. There's uh, today's lesson. Plant, have trimmers if you're gonna uh, grow a beard. Uh, <clears throat> okay.